forearm cat cow or baby cat cow can be a nice challenge versus our regular cat cow position because it's bringing our arms into more of an overhead shoulder position. So it's working on our external shoulder rotation while we're going through a full range of motion. For our forearm cat cow, we're gonna start on hands and knees. And as the name suggests, drop on down to our forearms, planting my elbows under my shoulders. And you can choose whether you keep your fingertips together, that's gonna make this a teeny bit easier. Arms are making a bit of a snowplow shape. If this feels too easy and you'd like more of a challenge, you can separate your hands. So your forearms are parallel to each other. This is adding more external shoulder rotation through our upper arms. This is gonna be a bit more challenging for your shoulders. If you've never done this before, I'd suggest starting with those fingertips together. So with our elbows on the floor, hands planted, fingertips touching, or extra challenge would be hands separated. Just like our regular cat cow, we're gonna start with tucking our tailbone, tucking our chin towards our chest, sucking our belly button in, rounding through our whole back. And just notice how this feels a little bit different in your shoulders than when our arms are straight and our chest is a little higher off the ground. Probably gonna feel like a bit more of a stretch, maybe in the outside of the shoulders, maybe in the space between the shoulder blades. And then we're gonna arch, lifting our tailbone, dropping our belly, lifting our collarbone, lifting the crown of our head. Alternating rounding, pushing those elbows down. And arching, lifting the tailbone, lifting the crown of the head. Aiming for five to 10 reps. And if you'd like to increase the difficulty or complexity, like I said earlier, we can either bring our palms separated. So now my forearms are parallel to the outside edges of my mat, making it a bit more challenging to my shoulders, or I can elevate my knees by putting blocks under my knees. So now my shoulders are even lower than my hips in space. And every time I round, my arms are coming into even more of an overhead position, which is going to make it a little bit more challenging. With our knees elevated, arching and rounding looks a little bit like this. If you liked this video and you're looking for more free flexibility training advice, there's a lot more where that came from on my website, where I regularly post blog posts with stretching tips, as well as detailed stretch breakdowns like this video. You can check it out at dannywinksflexibility.com.